Let's get a handle on this. It's the Senebogen 818E Materials Handler, and this is the 2019 edition. The box has got some information about the real machine printed on it. And if we look closer, we see that this is a Conrad model. And it's revision one of the model that first came out in 2014. Enough of what's on the box, so let's see what's inside it. And out comes the type of packaging that Conrad liked to use. And when we look inside that, there is the model and a bag containing a couple of parts. For the assembly this model contains two mirrors which is one more than the original model but sadly the mirrors are just plastic with no silvered surface. There's no instructions as to where to fit them but the Conrad website shows one small mirror on the outside of the cab and the bigger mirror going on the inside. But of course the inside mirror clashes with the boom so we don't like that and we'll change it. We'll have the big mirror on the outside and we'll find a home for the small mirror on the opposite side of the machine. As usual we start with the model on its back and many of the parts are plastic including the blade support, transmission and axles. But the tyres are nice with a good tread pattern and there are metal fairings on each side. The simple dozing blade is metal and the tyres are mounted on plastic wheels. The access steps have a slight texturing. At the other end the main outrigger beam parts are metal with the pads themselves being plastic and there's a nice textured metal ladder. The graphics on the model are very sharp and it's nice to see that there are many small ones. The lights on the counterweight are painted and at the top there's a video camera and exhaust pipe. On the other side of the body the grille positions are painted. There's another metal access ladder up onto the top of the body and just visible behind it are some nice Senebogen graphics. The main boom ram has pipework detailing and there are hoses behind it and there's also a work light detailed. The cab on this model is revised to the latest design and it has nice window seals and graphics and there's other detail within the casting. There's a nice looking cable run up to the elevating cab and there are various other details on the roof. A big bank of soft hydraulic hoses runs up the boom. Those hoses continue down onto the stick where there's more hydraulics detailing. The tool at the end is a sorting grab and it's made of plastic presumably to keep the weight down. We are back again looking underneath the machine and the wheels all turn independently. The rear axle oscillates to compensate for rough terrain and it also steers with the wheels moving through a reasonable angle. Driving along the 818E zooms along in a straight line and if we set the steering the model turns nice and sharply. The blade at the front raises up just enough and it lowers to make good ground contact. And in fact the downward movement is a little bit further than that. At the other end of the machine the stabilizers can be lowered. And you need to make sure that your fingers are in shape because the hydraulic rams are stiff. And they're stiff enough to hold the adjacent axle wheels free. If you want you can always give the operator a lift up. And the model engineering is very good because the cab is perfectly level and it holds any pose. And if you want to spin around, rotation is very precise. Now we move on to the materials handling side of things and let's check out the movement of the boom and the stick. 
To begin with, we can stretch them out significantly. And helped by the plastic sorting grab, the model is well balanced. So even at maximum reach over the side, it's not tipping over. The hydraulic ramps are all quite stiff, but that does mean that they will hold any pose that you set. And if you want, you can raise the boom pretty much to a vertical position. The other thing to take a look at is the sorting grab. And it's got two degrees of movement, you can rotate it fully. And the two sides of the grab are also nicely interlocked, so when you move one, the other moves in unison. This is a small update to the previous version of the model, with the cab being the main difference. It remains a solid and robustly made model by Conrad, and it has nice detailing and features that work very well. It's also a very attractive looking model in Cenobogan green, and overall it is very good.